Yeah, that's been how it's uh, been actually for well over a week now. They've been in the 50s, even 60s at times, while the valley, of course, has been stuck in the fog. But uh, that is all about to change. This morning, we've seen those temperatures drop down to that freezing mark once again here in Eugene. Mid 40s for those of you along the coast, upper 30s uh, in Douglas County near Roseburg, and in the upper 20s and low 30s as you head over into central Oregon. So right now, uh, really not that different than what uh, we've been used to, but it will continue to change as we head into this morning. Uh, first thing, we're already starting to see some rain making its way into western Oregon, and we do have a freezing rain advisory in effect through noon uh, for the southern Willamette Valley. We've picked up a trace of precipitation already in the Eugene area, and with that temperature sitting at 32, those raindrops just freeze as soon as they touch the roadways. So uh, you do want to watch out for that this morning. Again, if you're running into some rain, just assume that there is some icy conditions in place. Same story for those of you in the central Willamette Valley. Uh, Corvallis is sitting at 32 degrees. And we're also seeing visibility is being reduced a touch uh, because we're still seeing some fog out there as well. Uh, and that too could freeze on the roadways this morning. Now, when you head out to the coast, it's much warmer, 45 for those of you in Coos Bay. In fact, the rain has not got to Coos County just yet, uh, but we will see those showers for most of the day. Also starting to see some scattered showers near Roseburg, but temperatures there again uh, well above freezing this morning. So this cold front, the first storm to finally break through this ridge of high pressure, uh, that's going to continue to slide to the the east. That threat for freezing rain will come to an end later this morning as temperatures start to warm up. In fact, we should get back into the low 40s this afternoon. Uh, and those scattered showers will stick with us until this evening. In behind this storm, we actually catch a break. Some more dry weather uh, on the way for Thursday. Could see a little bit of patchy fog tomorrow morning, uh, but nothing like what we've been used to this past week. As the next storm rolls in Thursday night, that'll bring in another round of rain showers, and then those uh, rain showers will stick with us off and on through the weekend and into next week as well. On Precision Cast, again, you can see that cold front making its way east today. It will change over to snow when you get above 3,500 feet later on this afternoon. Could see just a few snow flurries over in central Oregon. Otherwise, starting out dry on Thursday, but we see that next round of rain moving quickly here. Thursday night, you see 7 o'clock, uh, starting to see that storm making its way into the valley. And then those showers do stick with us as we head into Friday. So for the coast, you are going to start to see your temperatures come down as those clouds and rain uh, move in. Highs will be in the upper 40s. Winds will be out of the south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Still low 50s for Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday. Uh, again, we do have chances for at least a little bit of light rain every day this week. The Umqua Basin back into the mid 40s today, putting up with the rain showers off and on. Should get some sun breaks though this afternoon. Uh, dry for the most part on Thursday before that next storm rolls in on Friday. Highs will be in the upper 40s and low 50s with those overnight lows staying down in the mid to upper 30s. The Cascades seeing the first snow in quite some time, picking up about two inches later this afternoon with this storm. Uh, we'll continue to see snow this weekend into next week as well. Freezing level dropping down to about 2,500 feet here by tonight. Central Oregon, partly sunny for you today. Temperatures still in the upper 40s, uh, but you'll also start to see uh, those temperatures come down a little bit. Could see some snow flurries here Saturday into Sunday. Uh, highs will still be in the low 40s. We can see those overnight lows dropping to the 20s. And for the Valley, we'll be in the low 40s today. First time seeing the 40s here in over a week uh, seeing those rain showers again watch out for icy roadways this morning otherwise it'll just be plain old rain this afternoon dry most of Thursday before that rain returns on Friday